YouTube. Look what arrived. Exhaust gaskets for the Vulcan S. You know what that means. Install video for the Dan Moto exhaust. Coming right up. <laughs> actually has a really detailed uh, installed video on their YouTube channel for specifically the Vulcan S and this exhaust. So I'll just link that in the description. But I guess for, you know, real quick run through. Basically, you just got to remove this, this, uh, this plate, and I believe this, this plastic housing right here. Because I think you need to get, there's a connection there over there that you need to disconnect. And then after that, there's a, a mounting bolt right here. And then there's on the headers, on the headers, there's two of these mounting bolts uh, per header, so four in total. Just remove that, and the exhaust comes out, or the stock exhaust comes off, and it's ready for the, the demo to go on. plate off get a 10 mil socket for this bolt and this bolt disconnect this right here because this is to the O2 sensor down here. Uh, and also this screw right here. So that way, you know, it won't be connected to the bike. Basically after that, you get a 12 millimeter socket and an extension and take those four bolts out uh, they recommend not taking them out completely until you're ready to drop the exhaust and also to uh, put a towel or something on this crossbar cross member <laughs> Just loosen the bolts. They're still, uh, or loosen the nuts, I should say. They, they're still on there, but they're loose enough to where they are. Uh, you know, I could take them off by hand. Uh, I'll leave them. I'll leave them there for now. I'm gonna go move on to this mounting bolt right here for the muffler. It's a 14 mil socket. Uh, this is what. This is the only bolt that holds it up. So I'm gonna loosen that. Probably not take it out all the way. And I'm gonna, uh, you know. Loosen it, then remove the uh, header nuts and all that. As you can see, also I have a piece of cardboard here, so that way when the exhaust drops, it won't hit the concrete. All you need to do really now is remove the O2 sensor because you're gonna you're gonna reuse that for the damn motor exhaust. All you really need for that is just a 17 millimeter wrench, and you're good. By the way, try your best not to not to damage these. These things are expensive for cars, bikes, whatever. But yeah, and look how big this this 
uh, stock exhaust is. One of the best advantages of going aftermarket on exhausts for bikes are the weight savings. I think this, I don't know the stats, uh, the weight stats on um, the stock versus damn motos or any other exhaust, but I think these are like 20 something pounds. I don't remember, but damn motors exhaust plus other, you know, aftermarket market exhausts are like at least half that weight. So you're saving weight, plus you're letting the bike breathe a little bit more. Also, don't forget, while you're in there, might as well change out them, you know, header gaskets. By the way, other than the gaskets, the other extra step I'm doing is this. That right there is exhaust wrap. I'm gonna wrap the headers all the way down to the muffler. Uh, some people don't like it, some people do. I personally do. I've always liked the look of uh, exhaust piping wrapped, regardless of whether it gives you performance, you know, stuff, gains or whatever, but... Regardless, I like how it looks, so I'm gonna do it. By the way, when messing with a uh, heat wrap for any application, really, um, make sure to wear gloves, cause uh, there's like fiberglass or something in it. Anyways, it'll it'll really mess up your hands or whatever. But I just finished with the headers. Now, time to put this whole thing back together. <laughs> on I left all the bolts and all that stuff on the headers and the, and the muffler mounting bolt uh, kind of loose just to make sure everything fits in all right everything's lined up the way it should be and uh, looks good I think it's time to bolt this down I tightened that down as well as the uh, all the all four of the header bolts to be honest I don't know of the torque specs of those uh, so I might have to go back and make sure they're at torque spec, but regardless, it's mounted. Uh, all I gotta do now is heat, heat wrap the rest of this of this piping all the way up to, I'm gonna stop like, like right here. Yeah. Put on the springs, that the two springs that come with, it comes with, and uh, reinstall the O2 sensor and reinstall this, this whole assembly right there. And we will be ready to turn it on for the first time. Pretty excited. Eventually. Boom, it's done. I didn't record it. Uh, my battery died and uh, it's, this process took too long anyways. Well, it didn't take too long, it just took longer than I wanted it to be. But yeah, it's done. Wrapped, mounted, everything. Housing, uh, O2 sensor, all that stuff. Those, those uh, little springs or whatever. All right. Well, so finally done installing, and let's start it up for the first time. but it's loud, trust me. Oh, Jesus. One 
one hour later. Wow. Okay. So I took her down the street. I'm gonna have to get me some some ear protection because this thing is loud. I kind of I kind of value my hearing. So, <laughs> but yeah, this thing is it's loud, and I, I actually feel a little feel it a um, bit more peppier. I guess you know free flowing exhaust, and it's a little bit of weight reduction. So that kind of makes sense. I am so happy about this. I don't know if that uh, exhaust wrap is still like wet, but I mean it, the whole time it was like evaporating. I could kind of smell it. Kind of did a scumbag move and went to highly populated areas. Not like, not like neighborhoods, but like town square and all this other places, you know, just to, where there's a lot of people at the moment. Kind of made noise. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this thing is amazing. So the few the, the short like hour or so that I've had it so far I, I love it even though it's loud I might have to get some ear protection but whatever people have definitely noticed me there was no second guessing where I was <laughs> all right so that's it for this install video stay tuned I will be posting a exhaust comparison between this and the stock so that way you could kind of get an idea of how the difference is as far as video goes at least because honestly videos never do uh, you know exhaust sounds justice. It's always you have to you have to just hear it in real life But trust me the, despite how the video, you know plays it It's loud anyways uh, till the next time. Thank you for watching. Please like subscribe comment share all that good stuff if you like and uh, I'll catch y'all on the next one Peace